Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dockage on COS OS using Big Bear COS OS. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is Dockage. It's by the creator of Uptime Kuma. And, um, it has a UI that looks like Uptime Kuma, so it's more familiar. And um, it has quite a few features. And here's what it looks like. And um, if we scroll down, you'll see more screenshots like that. And Jellyfin. And um, I really like how it shows you what it's doing and when it's doing things. And it has a console. So... That's what we'll be installing. So this is Big Bear Casa OS. It's a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps now and I'm making YouTube videos for them. Um, I did make a YouTube video on how to install Big Bear Casa OS on Casa OS, but I'm gonna go over that in this video as well. Um, you will need Casa OS a version 0.4.4 or newer. So, we're going to go up here to App Store URL, and we're going to copy it, and then we're going to go over to our COS OS and get it set up. So now I'm on my COS OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to Add Source over here. I'm going to paste in the URL, and then I'm going to press Add. Now we have 134 apps, so um, we can reload the page, go back into the App Store, Go to categories over here, go to Big Bear Cost OS, and now you see all the apps that are available in Big Bear Cost OS. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. So I'm gonna go to apps, and then I'm gonna scroll down to a dockage right here, and then Docker Compose. So the name of the Cost OS app is called Big Bear Dockage. I'm gonna set some services, and then service underneath the service called app. The container name is Big Bear Dockage. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag, which is one. And then I'm going to set some uh, environment variables. So Dockage stacks directory. And then this is the directory. And then the container restart policy. So it's unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to set some volumes, so the docker.sock on the host and the container. On the left is the, uh, the the host, and on the right is the container. And so it's data, app data, app ID, which is a dynamic variable that it's gotten from the name up here. And then de data, so this is on the host side. And then app de data is on the container and data, app data, and then dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name, and then stacks. And then on the container is data, app data, big bear dockage, and then stacks. So, and then I'm gonna set some ports. So 5001 is on the host side, 5001 is on the container side. And then I'm gonna set some cost of specific information for the volumes and the ports. And then cost of specific information for the app store, so the architectures that Docker image supports is AMD64 and ARM64. And then the main is rhymes with the service up here, the name up here, the app. And then description, ta tagline, the, the developer of Dockage, the author of the Docker Compose, the icon being used, and then there's no thumbnail, and then the top title, and then the category so people can find all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS. And then the port map is 5001, and that aligns with up here, the, the host port of 5001. So, that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So, I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm gonna start on my Casa OS. I'm gonna go to App Store, and then I'm gonna go to Search Box. I'm gonna type in Doc, and then now you, you see it right here. And you know it's coming from Big Bear Casa OS because of this right here, the category. So you can go into it, you can press install. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose up. So here we go, we got it up and running. So now I'm gonna go on the files. So I'm gonna go to the files app right here, and then I'm gonna go app data, Big Bear Dockage, and then you'll see your data right here, and then you'll see your stacks. So you can go up here to check mark, and you can download, copy, cut, delete and cancel you can also go up here to the top right download copy path rename cut copy share and delete so that's where your files are located and i'm going to go over the container options so if you go to the top right up here to vertical dots and then you can open into the web ui you can set some tips so you can come down here to the edit button and you can go up here and type and then you can press the save so it'll reload the container in the background, say dockage is okay. You can go back in there, you can go to settings now. You can edit some settings right here, and then you can press the save button. You can also go up here to terminal logs, and you can have a terminal straight inside the container. And you can also see the logs. So you can also export the Docker Compose right here. I'm gonna exit out of here. So you can go in the vertical dots again. You can check for updates, the current tag it's on. It will not change the tag. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now we're gonna go in the UI. So I'm gonna, you can open it from here or you can go into the vertical dots and open it from here. So now we're gonna create an account. So once you put in your username and your password and you repeat the password to confirm it, you're going to press the create button. Now we are in it. So you can take a Docker run and convert it to a compose file right here. You can go up to the console and you can get uh, 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 the console for the uh, stacks right here. You can go over here and you can scan stacks folder. You can also go in the settings and change the primary host and then change the language, change your password, and disable auth, uh, log, log out, and then you can see the about and the version. So you can also go up here to the compose, and you can put a stack name in, and then uh, you can also add a cont container for, for easily being able to, uh, to run it over here. So you can go over here and um, put a stack name in, so Nginx, and then you can just deploy. Now it's deployed, so you can edit the uh, stack right here and change the networks, different things. And then you can go back in there and um, deploy. I mean, and then you can uh, re re restart, update the uh, a Docker image, and you can see it all happening right here, which is really neat. Um, you can go into the bash right here, so you can go into the bash of the Nginx. So, um, you can also switch to SH, so I'm going to go back over here, and you can stop it, you can delete it, and you can also go into it from here, from, from 8080, so I'm going to go into it, so there you go. So, and then you can see your, your, uh, logs down here, of what's happening. So. This is pretty neat, and I look forward to it uh, getting better and better. So I went over step-by-step step on getting Dockage running on COS OS using Big Bear COS OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the forum and join a Big Bear community. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.